Oh, seven citizens, my name is Black, and welcome to my channel, Casa Black Gaming. I will be your guide today, continuing from where we left off from the first guide, which started your journey, and we are now on the planet Hurston, and more specifically, the town of Loraville, where you are ready to continue your journey, which in this video will include learning where to buy things you need before taking off from the planet. So once you are off world, you can be more successful. Now keep in mind, this is just one of 10 guides in this series, with guides not numbers 2 through 5 being only needed depending on the starter planet that you're on. The guides after these four starter planets will teach you the remaining basics like how to leave the planet, where to go, how to set your spawn location so when the verse kills you, you don't have to start back on the planet where your adventure began because things get easier if you're stationed out in space versus on a planet. I will also show you some other basics like inventory control, how to upgrade your ship, and the very basics of accepting missions and what reputation is. Now feel free to skip to the guides you need if you already know the four planets and where things are located, but I promise this will be fast and informative and help you start your journey on the right foot. So let's go ahead and skip the normal channel advertisements since we took care of those in the very first video and let's get into this great info. Alright, so let's leave the apartment building. When you come out of the hab, you could be on one of two floors. The elevator entrance is on the second floor, so you're either on the second floor already or just head up these stairs. and you will find the elevator door. Call the elevator out by pushing the button while holding F, take it down to the ground floor, and then exit. Upon exiting the elevator, head off past the orange delivery box on the left, which is one of the delivery boxes you could be using for delivery missions. Then to the right, you will be outside and get to see all of the lovely scenery that Hurston has to offer. Anyway, head to the left up the stairs. Then another left until you come to this area where you can go left following the red sign to the metro center, but we're going to go right. Then you look at the signage overhead which shows a hospital, restaurant, and repair services that way, and again, we're going to go right. Head toward the sign that says admin office. We want to go left for the Tammany and Sun sign and the Leavesden station. We're headed to Tammany and Sons, which is where we can pick up armor and tools. Head down the stairs and you will again see signage overhead that leads you to a hospital and other places, but again, keep going straight. You will then see a red sign dead ahead and we want to go right because that's the entrance to Tammany and Sons. There is also a red arrow pointing you in the correct direction. Inside you will find the sales terminals. The first thing you need to do when interacting with the terminals is to choose your destination up in the top left corner. This is where your items will appear after you purchase them. The options can or will be either the local station you are currently at, known as the local inventory, or it could go into individual armor pieces you could be wearing, such as the chest or leg pockets. It could go into a backpack if you're wearing one, or it could go into your ship if you chose to send it to your ship's inventory as cargo. Now a common misunderstanding I see often when players are buying ship components is that they think they are buying a quantum drive or shield or some other ship component that if you choose the ship's inventory that it will automatically install those items on your ship and that is not how it works at all. If you chose your ship's inventory after buying one of these items it would be considered cargo and not be installed. The correct inventory you would want to choose when installing ship components would be the local storage of the station but we're going to touch more on that later in guide number eight. Anyway back on this you can choose various filters to find what you're looking for such as the undersuit. or armor. Or tools. 
There are a lot of mining products here since Hurston is more known for its industrial efforts. You will not find hand weapons of any kind in Lorville except knives, so all you can buy here is your armor, backpack, and tools. Now I went with the Iceborne armor set because I prefer medium armor. With your backpack, make sure you choose the same size as your chest piece so if you went medium on your chest armor, buy a medium backpack, otherwise you will not be able to equip the larger sizes. Alright, moving on to the personal weapons filter, this is where you can pick up that knife I talked about before, but more importantly you need to grab the Pyro RYT multi-tool, and I would honestly grab a couple at least. The multi-tool is one of the most important things that you can have equipped. Next up, change the second filter to attachments so you can find the attachment tools for the multi-tool. You can also purchase ammo for guns, which makes total sense, right? The attachments you will be interested in are the mining attachment and also the tractor beam. I would buy just as many tractor beams as you bought of multi-tools. The tractor beams are life-saving out in the wild. Now one final thing you might want to grab that you're going to find in the miscellaneous filter are med pens and drinks and food. A little tip here is that if you buy the energy drinks and not just water, you can get both food and drink from those, so they are a two for one. So before heading anywhere, let's equip what we just bought and also at the same time learn something about the inventory system. So after leaving the terminal, step out into the middle of the floor, away from the terminals, and press I. This opens up your inventory screen. Now, if you don't see your character in the center of the screen, it's because you are too close to a wall, which is why I suggest you to step away. Now, with your inventory screen up, you have a little inventory window on the right side. You can select filters to sort what you see, so since you're after your armor, let's select that unless you need to change your undersuit first. Now, you can drag items from yourself over into the window, or you can control double click items to equip them. Now, moving between the filters, equip your undersuit or armor first. Then you can equip your weapons and tools, ammo, and then med pens. You will need to attach any attachments such as the tractor beam or weapon attachments if you bought those. I usually drag the multi-tool attachment on, and then I hover over it to make sure that they are in fact there. Once you're fully dressed, it's time to move on. Now from here you have a couple of options to go depending on if you're ready or have the finances available to upgrade your ship, but I will show you how to get to the business district where you can buy special ship parts and there is also a market terminal to sell trade goods if you ever decide to become a trade hauler and sell your stuff here. Leaving Tammany and Sons, head straight and up the stairs and then right looking for the overhead sign that says Central Line. As you approach, you will see a sign that says either way to go to Leavesden Station, so go either way. I happen to choose right. Go through the corridor, through the weird looking turnstile machines, and then once here, go right up where the signs to Central Business District direct you. Then keep going until you see this sign. Take the train going to the Central Business District and ride it. Once the train to Depressionville is done, exit and head to the large ominous gold statues that mark the entrance to the shops we're looking for. Go up the black marble stairs and through the entrance, then up more stairs because if you're winded you can't take on the totalitarian regime. Once inside you can go either right to the HD showcase where they sell Hurston's own brand of weapons, the left is the marketplace. 
They both have terminals you can make purchases at or sell your items. Keep the weapon store in mind in particular as there are some weapons here that are not available anywhere else in the verse. Alright, so now let's get back to the train. There's only one way out, so just go back the way that you came. Until you reach this part where your path can go in two directions. We are looking for the train taking us to the Tiza spaceport. Board the train when it arrives and ride it until it stops. Exit the train following the exit signs. Head past the 2 metro sign without going that way. Follow the corridor around through the customs area and through the blue glowy scanner checkpoint, then around through more armed guards. You start to get the feeling that they really don't want you leaving here. Then up the stairs, until you see whatever qualifies as art in Loreville hanging from the ceiling there. These ship terminals are on the left side, and off ahead is New Deal, which is one of the best places to purchase ships for in-game credits, so keep that in mind as well. Now is where this guide ends, but check out the next guide number 6 where I discuss calling out your ship and how to move inventory off this world and into your ship. The guides going forward are a lot shorter and so I will see you in the 6th guide, but until then remember to be kind to your fellow gamer. The first steps in the verse are just the beginning of something larger and more dangerous yet more fun. And stay positive citizens.